All right, in this video, I'm going to do the final machine work to the block. I'm going to drill the pivot pins out for these uh, Cobra Engineering pivot pins. They're bigger. Uh, also going to clearance the cylinders for the stroker and chase the, the cylinder head bolt holes. Before I take the block back outside to do some more drilling and grinding and tapping, I'm going to remove the front and the rear oil gallery plug. All you need is a punch and a hammer, and you're going to hit off to the side of the plug. You basically just want to get it to spin in there, and then come in with some type of pliers and grab hold of it, pull it out. Now I'm going to cover that hole up with tape, because when I'm drilling and grinding, I don't want pieces of metal to get in there. And I'm also going to tape up where the oil pump goes. I'm going to be drilling these holes right here for the pivot pins. I don't want to get any shavings in there. I'm also going to try and get this back one out without taking the engine off of here. We'll see if I can do it. Okay, to drill the pivot pin holes, I'm going to use this Cobra Engineering jig. Uh, kit it comes with everything you need it comes with a drill and a tap. I'll put the part number in the comments below Okay, so you just put your jig on here it goes over the dowel pins It's got two different size hole uh, Alignment hole here the smaller ones for drilling the bigger ones for tapping. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer the depth Onto my drill bit now with a piece of tape you know how far to drill and know not to stop drilling past that. You don't want to drill too far, you only get one chance to do this. Spray in some PB Blaster. Now slowly drill. And now we can swap these guide holes over. Now we're going to transfer the depth of this hole to our drill bit. And slowly drill this out. I'm going to spray them again with PB Blaster. And we're going to transfer the depth again to the tap because you don't want to tap too far into there. Then with just a wrench or something, you're going to just work the tap down, down through it. I like to go back and forth with this thing. So once you go a little bit, go back and forth, a little bit, back and forth. Now we swap the guide inserts again. Transfer the depth one more time. Now work, work the tap down through it. We take the plate off. Now I'm going to blow these out. Now I'm going to test fit one of these. This is the Cobra Engineering pivot pin. I'm going to test fit and make sure that it goes all the way down and, and basically tightens up so this washer should tighten up. If not, got to re-drill a little further and then tap it again. Okay, so I need to drill. This is uh, kind of snug. And you can see the washer is still loose. I didn't really crank down on it because I don't want to break anything. Uh, but the other side is very similar, so I'm going to uh, put the jig back on there and, and drill about a... Uh, about a eighth of an inch, sixteenth of an inch, just to make sure that it tightens on that washer instead of tightening in the threads. Okay, so I re-tapped them, re-drilled them. Uh, now it cinches down and the washer is tight on both of them. I'm going to take these back out though because I want to clean the threads more and then put Loctite on them before torquing them. Now's a good time to clean this RTV off of here. Uh, I'm just going to use a razor blade. Now I'm going to work on clearance in these cylinders, but before I do, I'm going to put for the these oil holes, I'm going to put some of this uh, foil over it. And hopefully that'll keep shavings from getting down in there. I got a Dremel with a little carbide bit on there. I'm just gonna go down and work those uh, markings up from earlier. Don't forget iPro.
And you can see the amount that was taken off, just a little bit. It's like that on each cylinder. Okay, before I uh, blow this out really good and run a brush through the gallery, I'm going to cover those oil holes again. I'm going to chase the threads with this uh, ARP thread chaser. First, I'm going to spray them all, all the thread holes with PB Blaster. I'm just going to go down the line. I'm going to run the, the thread chaser down through there. So I chased all the thread holes, uh, the head head bolts or head stud holes. Kind of a time consuming process, but it's worth it to make sure that the heads go in or the head bolts go in or the studs go in. Now I'm going to blow them out real good. All right, so now I'm done grinding on it, drilling on it, all that. I'm going to start blowing it off one last time, take all the tape off, blow it down in there. Okay, I've blown it out real good once. Now I'm going to take this uh, Moroso engine cleaning brush kit, part number 61820, and I'm going to go through the uh, uh, oil gallery and some of the, the water jackets and cooling jackets and stuff like that. Now I'm going to go through and blow it out one more time. The last thing we're going to do now that we've blown everything off and uh, everything's good, I'm going to uh, coat the machine surfaces with ATF, so the cylinders and the uh, deck surface. 